So this one, look over here. Look over here. No, no, no. This is different. But look over here. This is all. This is all superbly architected. Look at this. Oh With, wow. This was just a steep slope down to the to the um, a fence, and it caused no amount of trouble in rain and snow, and the fence was falling over. And Deanna got this great idea to sculpt it. So there are two scallops cut out of that, and this one is a stone sitting thing, and she had those things laser cut, or machine cut, not laser cut, but machine cut in, the, in that shape, and uh, put that in. Wow. That's, yeah, this, the, the amount of, of art and, and design that went into this house is unbelievable. All right, so let's trespass. Gonna, yeah. So this thing, more thing, all I wanted was a shaded area to eat breakfast. Can you see that? You see <laughs> yeah. the whole big thing there? Yeah, yeah. You see the table there? Yeah. I the table. <laughs> right, that's all I wanted was there. And the architect <laughs> who had redesigned this whole thing said, well, you, this house is so big, if you put a little apron out there, it's just going to look silly. So you have to make it in scale. So he made this huge two-column thing that's there. There's, there's more subtle refinements to this than you can shake it to get. Um, the guy is brilliant. This is an architect's well, architect, old right. school. Yeah. Yeah. He, used, he knew about the design patterns. He yeah. used the Christopher so Alexander. The the he never said no. He talked forever, but he never said no. So we were doing that thing there with it, and I said, I don't want to pay for, you know, three layers or four layers here. Can't you just do a thing? And can't you do a thing that's kind this is kind of ugly and he started out with an explanation of the bolts and the way the way that the thing is attached to the house the porch is a runoff for the water and when you attach it like that you have this bolt but because you have this bolt you've got this sheet because you have this sheet you've got this thing and he went through every bolt and fold and at the end of this long thing was was basically and that's how why you can't have what you just asked for <laughs> But he never said no. It was, you had to be patient. Listen, but I, think he did. I, I kind of like his line of reasoning. Oh, was awesome. He was a work of art to listen to him talk and do his design Buddy. Oh Hello. God. You're big and tall and gorgeous. Hi, I'm David. Hello, David. <laughs> These are two colleagues and friends of mine. Oh, fun. They were walking Jen. in town for hey. four days. Oh, good. Where are you living? I'm in uh, Chicago, yeah. Oh, Hello. In Chicago at the moment, but I'm a permanent nomad. I travel the world. Really? 100% of the time. Oh, Lord. I have one suitcase and 50 pounds of two backpacks. You know, oh, good. There's, the the post, there's Ron, our postman. Oh, I'll Thank just you. hand it to him then. Okay. <laughs> Redesigned it. So this was just um, kind of a jungle. So this is not the best steps. This was a really good design job, but this is the difference between an experienced foreman and an inexperienced foreman. This thing cost me my shirt and my closet. <laughs> I mean, it cost so much. All I wanted was different stairs and to clean up the surface of the thing. They tore everything up, they rebuilt everything. This, I tell stories about the lamination of creation. This, this house is full of what's called design problems for <laughs> architects, right? And the problem with this is that there was just a nasty little straight shoot of steps. It, went brruh, brruh. it was out of code oh, and it was yeah. nasty and it was wooden. The problem is that if you extend it according to code, the step and the risers and the so on have to be at a certain, it would come out to about here. There was no way to get the steps to come out gracefully and land in any place because with this house, there's a double curve everywhere to the hill and very short space. And we literally built this thing in, in plywood and I said, plan to take it apart. Yeah. And so he built it and we moved it and we jiggled it and I got it all done and then we got an architect to come by and he said the landing is like two inches too short. I said, I don't have two more inches. He said, it's two inches too short. So we had to find two more inches somehow, right? Like that. And this is all laminated wood. So now, but if you would walk up it, which mm -hmm. I want you to do, you get okay. the camera's fine. What you get is it's always very natural. And so you're always turning, it starts wide and it becomes narrow. And it just becomes an entrance way. Right? It just paces you in very nicely here. And you see you come at an angle and when you come out. Yeah. It was an amazingly difficult design problem, but when it all comes out, 
you don't notice anything. That's the thing. Okay, so this one's pretty good. Now, where the inexperience of the actual contractor was, he picked this substance, which is a very fragile, high maintenance substance. We got it all poured, all built, and a real senior builder who was working with us, workman, and I said, Yeah, this is gonna, I love it because this is low maintenance. I'm never gonna have to touch this again. And he goes, Excuse me? No, this is not low maintenance. This is high maintenance surface. I go, no, 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 no. I, I wanted a low maintenance. He says, Well, you got took because this is high maintenance. And so you see at the bottom here, you see the first bit of that. You already see, I don't know if it's from shoveling snow or what, but that's already bubbled with crack. So I don't know what, somebody's going to have to be very expensive operation to refinish this thing. We were going to do steel and concrete and helicopters and all that, but really, shit, stop. <laughs> I just said, you get one shot at that. If you're wrong, you're out like $40,000. Yeah. So we built it literally in place and laminated the boards in place. Okay, but that's only the second best. That one was great. It had a straight set of steps right there. Oh, really? Yeah, straight up. But, but obviously it was ugly. And then when we go back there, you know, that thing, it wouldn't work. The problem is, you see, there's a, there's a design problem again. We've got a steep hill here. We've got a driveway there, a slope there. And every time we tried to find a way, there was no way to make a set of steps. So now when you walk up these ones, the interesting thing is you never walk straight up these steps. You always walk at an angle. Greek. So watch this. So you get out of your car and you walk at this from an angle, but every step you take, it turns every you. Every move you make. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it turns you. So finally, you come up here, and again, you're straight in on the house. Oh, yeah? We had one guy who spent forever, I mean, days and days and days, selecting rocks and pebbles and everything to put here to get the shape of this thing and the colors right. He was like, I don't know how much we spent. Now, and the final thing is that little window, that little balcony there, yeah. is a doorway from the bedroom. Yeah. And the original design we had had it coming out bigger. He says, no, 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 it's overbalanced. You don't want that much balcony. So he made a rounded thing, which is a little Juliet balcony oh, there. So we get that other door. So what I think is interesting is for people like us, we take one step per step. And this, this older woman came up. She's like, I love these steps. They're big enough that I can take two steps on every step. <laughs> So she would go down like this, but you never go out straight. You always, you always go up and down every minute. Okay, oh, yeah? I have this dream. I very seldom remember my dreams. I had this dream like two nights ago that I was in New York City, and then somebody, some male friend of mine, said, wasn't me. Wasn't my, me. I don't know who it was. He's like, hey, so so we're <laughs> gonna build a house right here. And when you walk over here, you don't even see the, 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 the buildings. And it was like, um, when he said, it's close to the city, it's close to the U. Yeah, right. <laughs> Reminded me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so right. it turned into mountainside. Oh. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I know. Na, 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 na. Right next to the Empire State. Wasn't Park. me. <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> or was right. it? <laughs> This hill, when we first moved here, I could only go 20 minutes up there. And when I was, after I'd been here for a year or two years, it was my goal to make it all the way to the top in 45 minutes. Did you make it? Yeah, it was, it was like, it was brutal, but I, that was my thing. Doing the switchbacks or just straight up the... Uh, it turned out to be about the same length of time either way, but switchbacks, yeah. And so I would try to go up and down in an hour. That would be 45 minutes up and then run down in 20 minutes. Wow. And that was for one hour, that was just brutal. Oh, yeah.